Today the Rancho Santa Fe Flyers invaded the Shula Vista float fly at Otai Lake and the primary objective for me was to fly my bi-wing for the first time off the lake. It became a non-event. As you can see that was the first takeoff and this was my first uh, splash and go. Actually it was a triple skip. Uh, as you'll see here I do many many. It, it's a uh, very easy to land and take off on water. Uh, I really like the way it handles. I might consider, if I were to build it again, to move the step back maybe an eighth of an inch just to get rid of some of the skipping, but the skipping was actually somewhat fun. Anyway, you can see it's handling. Uh, very easy to control, very easy to steer on the lake uh, with the uh, extended rudder that also has a uh, water rudder component. You can see here I'm just doing a turn and coming back to where I started and being so low to the water uh, wind really didn't affect it. Here is my uh, Mega Minor Capricorn. I think that's pretty good. A uh, modification of the Larry Dunn design. Uh, what I really like doing is just taking off or doing splash and goes right up into a hover. And as you can see, it, it'll hover for some time and is extremely stable. Here I'm doing a low pass. This was a build up to uh, actually dragging my rudder. Although it didn't happen unless you have video according to many people in well, RC groups, I, I did so manage to drag the rudder across the water uh, the first time I tried. The second time I guess I pushed my luck too far and I grabbed a little bit too much of the vertical tail and uh, ate the water and it was floating upside down for a few seconds. Everything's dried out and everything's okay, but it uh, was rather an embarrassment. Anyway, the uh, Mega Miner uh, performed well. Next up, I believe, uh, is just some airborne shots from the Mega Miner using my uh, keychain camera, spy camera, $8 from China. And here I was flying around uh, chasing uh, Frank's uh, mentor on floats. Uh, as you can see, he did uh, two uh, splashdowns, and then the second one I splashed down with him, followed him to a full stop. Here, there I am on the uh, shore, just flying by and doing a, a flop with the uh, Mega Miner. And here I think I do another flop, and if I'm not mistaken, I just taxi right back to my uh, hairy legs. This is my duck, and I wouldn't go to the lake without the duck. The last time I was down here, I couldn't get it off the water at 2S, although I'd been able to do that up at Menifee, Menifee, so I decided to increase the power up to 3S, and as you'll see, it had no problem breaking free of the water. And uh, once I got the head down, of course, the head articulates up for takeoff, and there you just saw a duck loop. But it flies quite smartly, uh, and you can do a lot of low level and there's the head back up and uh, me executing a uh, splashdown. This is my micro Polaris 12 inch wingspan weighs in just over two ounces and it does go extremely fast for its size. Uh, here you can see a couple takeoffs I had done a uh, plop down prior to that second takeoff and then here's my final landing a plop down. Anyway, thanks for watching. It was a beautiful day. Thank you, Shula Vista. Wow. Hey, still looks like a W.